Let's talk a little bit about the state of Maine's mask mandate was lifted this week, but a state house lawmaker released a video of herself and her fellow Republicans being confronted over their refusal to wear masks in the Capitol after they lifted the mandate. In order to be in legislative space, your leadership said that you need to wear masks. After you leave beyond me, I don't care what you do, there but you can't go beyond here. Well, as a result, those seven Republicans have been stripped of their committee assignments and they were replaced on the committees with Democrats. Maine State, State Representative Laura Libby released that video. She was one of the people there and she joins us right now. Lauren, good morning to you. Laurel, rather. <laughs> good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm just a little mixed up because the Democratic governor of your state made it very clear. No more mask mandate for everybody in the state except children age five or older in school or daycare. Uh, the state house is not daycare per se. However, they're treating you like kids. Yeah, exactly, Steve. And more than that, Maine people. Maine people have been waiting to get back into their state house, which has been closed for over 14 months. Um, and now to be told that they don't have to wear a mask anywhere else in the state, but that to come into their people's house, they have to wear a mask. That just doesn't make any sense. We got a statement from the Speaker of the House, uh, Ryan Fecto, who is a Democrat. He said, we have hundreds of nonpartisan workers in the building who are still required to wear masks in the workplace. It's the least lawmakers can do to wear their mask in crowded indoor common spaces for a few more weeks. I, and I don't get the disconnect between the Speaker and the Governor, both Democrats. Governor mm -hmm. says you don't have to wear them. This guy says you do and you didn't, so he stripped you of your committee assignments. That's outrageous. Yeah, that's it is. It is outrageous. And um, to replace us with Democrats makes it clear that it's a political game. You know, and it's funny that you bring up the nonpartisan staff. What I noticed um, before the Democrats decided to implement this rule in the State House, I was there. I've been there working since January in my committee room, even though we've been meeting via Zoom. Sure. And um, when I was walking around the State House um, after Governor Mills put in her executive order that would lift the mask mandate. And before the Legislative Council met, um, many people <laughs> were not wearing masks. Um, so it was really an interesting thing. I'm, I'm hearing that it's because of the nonpartisan staff, but a couple of those days walking around the State House, you could see that people were getting really casual with their mask use, yeah. with the um, governor's executive order presumed to be the thing we were gonna be following. Well, you know, it's interesting because there are, there are echoes of what Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a Democrat, is doing as well. She's mandating mm -hmm. that people wear masks in the House chambers. Meanwhile, across the Capitol, in the Senate, you don't have to. And the governor of your state said, you don't have to wear it. You're following the science. I'm, I'm sure a lot of the lawmakers have been vaccinated. Ultimately, though, you could probably settle this in court. Yeah, uh, quite possibly. And you bring up, you know, following the science. That's what we've been doing for 14 months. And in fact, the Democrats are so committed to Governor Mills making all the COVID rules that we're still under an emergency declaration mm -hmm. here in Maine. Um, she's still in charge of every other COVID decision except this one um, that they've decided to uh, make their own rules about. And it probably is going to have to get decided in court. Um, it is uh, an ongoing uh, drama, it seems. And the, the speaker doubled down yesterday saying that he's not going to follow the science. He is going to follow um, his rule. <laughs> well, it is curious. And by the time a court rules, the damage will have been done because, you know, your legislative period is just a certain length of time and it's it's a crazy story that's why we brought you on uh state representative laurel libby joining us today from maine good luck thanks for the update thank you very much